Tarte Cosmetics has always been known for their excessive PR in terms of extravagant gifts, but not for everyone. And I really want to talk about that today because their most recent internet drama or just kind of controversy is that they're giving some of their influencers who receive PR Hermes bracelets and some they're giving nothing. But before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to, to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. I'm here every week. We're just going to be doing a get ready with me. And so all these products will be linked down below in the description box. There are also affiliate links. So if you do want to purchase something, it helps my channel out a lot. I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. That one's at TJ Maxx. So I'm excited for them to like kind of get more of their makeup and stuff in there. Especially for the holidays. I'm really excited to see what we're gonna have in there. I also have a stress headache right now and I'm gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clayful Coverage Foundation. Not to get on Tarte's good graces, but just because I like this foundation. <laughs> and then the Morphe Hot Drop um, Sun Drops Bronzer. I'm, I like to mix this in because this is a little light right now. And I like to look like I have some sort of color. <laughs> so on TikTok right now, we have all of these like really like crazy influencer girlies talking about, you know, they're unboxing PR from Tarte or whatever. And they're like, oh, you know, look at these products, cute. And then they just kind of like throw them to the side. And first off, that's like so ungrateful to me. Like to me, that just seems so rude. Okay, a brand is sending you PR. Please show off the product if you're even going to be like unboxing this stuff on camera, which I think PR unboxings in itself are like kind of weird. So basically, you know, all these like really big influencers and a lot of them, I have no idea who they even are. They are like, oh my gosh, I saw all the girls like unboxing their PR, getting an Hermes bracelet. And then they open their Hermes bracelet. And these bracelets are like $700. Could you imagine spending a hun like $700 on a bracelet? A bracelet. And I don't know. And me with that kind of like designer goods. I don't know. I've never got I've never gotten into the designer factor of things. Mainly because I feel like at that point, you're just paying for the brand. So really, you're just paying for like the Hermes logo in a sense. Which is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> but I digress on that too. So all these girls they're opening up these really fancy Hermes bracelets, and then it kind of leads other girls to film them unboxing this Tarte PR package and being like, oh my gosh, so-and-so received an Hermes bracelet. I want to know if I've received one too. And then they don't. And it's like really awkward. And the whole point of PR, you know, in general is to like basically at advertise your product and to millions of people and millions of viewers without paying that regular like advertisement rate that a lot of these influencers have. But what I think is kind of shady and like Tarte does this a lot and it just kind of seems very classist in a sense because they will send some people like a free iPad or they will send just these big luxurious gifts like in the past they've done like Roomba, like all of those, right? And then with other people, they're sending like a $30 necklace. And I just think that it just kind of show, I think it like kind of shows to the receiver of it, like, oh, I'm not as important to them as this other person or, or whatever. And then I'm using the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. Honestly, it's just like kind of weird that they do this. And a lot of people have been saying like, oh, you know, it's their way to like, market the brand or whatever like this is their way of just kind of bringing hype around their products but then you see the other end of the argument which is something that I guess I more agree with and that is that why would someone be more apt to purchase from Tarte because they saw someone receive a designer bracelet or an iPad or Roomba to me as a con as like a regular old consumer honestly it would make me like want to buy them less because it's like oh well it's clear that they're mark they're the money that i'm spending on tart or whatever money's not going to r d it's not going to customer satisfaction it's not going to anything else it's to keep in the good graces of these influencers 
I am going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. What is this? This is the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I'm like a Pillow Talk kind of day. I like this blush a lot. And so these influencers are over. I kind of had to change my lighting a bit. It looked a little weird. But these influencers are over here receiving all these things while their prices have gone up. We're spending $26 on a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. And a lot of people are just kind of turned off by it. Well, Tarte is not the only brand to do this. Um, it's clear that, you know, they are kind of like the front runner for all of this drama. I'm just going to set my face with some powder. And all these girls, for the most part, I think they seem pretty, who have received the Hermes bracelet, I should say, um, seem pretty grateful for what they have received. But in turn, like, they don't really seem very grateful for the products that they received. They just seem grateful for the Hermes bracelet. And I know it's a very, this is a very coveted brand to get on the PR list for, I mean, they do trips around the world. They've done like, I think they did like a Dubai trip at one point. They've done, of course, Bora Bora. They've done all these different trips, right? And my question for that is like, are these influencers that are you know, really heavily promoting Tarte, it begs the question, are these influencers, you know, using Tarte in videos and all of that because they like Tarte? or because they want to get invited on the next brand trip, or they also want to get an Hermes bracelet or whatever. People are actually have been commenting on Tarte's like posts and whatnot and being like, you know, you could have sent Hermes bracelets to random customers. You could have done something like that, but in turn, you're kind of like almost in a sense, bribing influencers to talk more about your products. I mean, wouldn't that be cool? Like there was just like a random giveaway that they, they could even market for it. They could be like, oh, you know, if you order today only and get a chance to win an Hermes bracelet, and then that would not only spike sales, but it would sp spike buzz about the brand. I feel like I need a bit of color. These lights are kind of washing me out, but I'm using the Too Faced Matte Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I feel like I need just like a little more blush. Use some Fenty. This is one of their newer ones. This is the Fenty Cheeks blush and petal poppin. Just gonna use a light amount though. There we go. I wanna look like I have some color on my face. And then, you know, we have, like I said before, we have these influencers receiving these $30 necklaces and you can just see the disappointment in their faces. Like, oh, you know, I'm not really seen as highly as these other gals and guys who are on the PR list. And I don't know exactly how they determine who's going to get what. I don't know if it's based on subscriber count. I don't know if it's based on sales, but I haven't really seen anyone push like a tart, like discount code or anything. So honestly, I don't really know. If I had to guess, I feel like it would probably be based off of following. Oh, for highlighter, I use the Makeup Revolution highlighter in the shade Diamond Glow. This is a dupe for the Rare Beauty one. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Brow Beater. But honestly, you know, when you think about it, subscriber count isn't everything. It, it all really, in terms of like YouTube algorithm, it all depends on what your views are like. I just pointed this out recently, but it's like, you know, you see these people who have five, six, seven million followers, and they're getting like a hundred thousand views in a video. Now, does that translate as far versus someone who's getting who only has like I don't know seven hundred and fifty thousand, and they're getting two hundred thousand views a video? And I think a lot of these brands really focus on subscriber count. They focus on like name recognition in the beauty space versus their reach. And to be quite honest, a lot of these girls who like actually received the bracelet, I had no idea who they were. And I was just seeing it all over TikTok. People were talking about it. People were making TikToks about the TikToks. <laughs> Honestly, so weird. But also PR has gotten so excessive. Like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so cool to receive PR from a brand? Like they'll be like, oh my gosh, like they'll want to like send you free stuff. Like I could not imagine. And that's obviously like a dream one day, but you see some of these girls just get dozens upon dozens of boxes of PR to look at it through Tarte's, you know, lens in a sense. And you have to be like, okay, well, you know, this influencer 
gets like 50 boxes a week of stuff, how are we going to stand out so that this person talks about our brand versus another brand? And in their defense, you know, sending things like a Roomba, an iPad, an Hermes bracelet, whatever the case may be, it's their way of standing out so that these influencers will market their product. I am using the Morphe lip liner in the shade Backseat Love. This is like a really nice long pencil. It's six bucks. I've always said, don't spend a lot of money on lip liners. It's not worth it. I'm going in with this mini Kosas lipstick in the shade High Cut. Then from a consumer side, it just looks like, okay, these influencers are being bought by Tarte in order to talk about their product. I'm not gonna lie, I see these influencers, um, you know, really pushing Tarte to get like either invited to the next brand trip to get some fancy PR and it's like give me a break like <laughs> you do not use solid tart 24 7 and even on some of these brand trips they a lot some of these influencers were called out for like not even using tart like in their get ready with me's <laughs> let's just say like if tart was like we want you Anna to come to Bora Bora you know I'd be using all tart products <laughs> I would be ready to go. <laughs> I'm using the makeup by Mario. What is this? Pro Volume Lip Gloss in Rose Nude. Look at that. So pretty. All these like duochromes. It has like a pinky gold duochrome. It's really, really pretty. These are really underrated too. Next, I'm going to be using a palette that I found at TJ Maxx a while back. This is the Lawless, the Winter Beach One palette. Now, this isn't available anymore, but you know, use what you have. You know, don't feel like you have to go out and like buy something new just because I'm using it. So I really want to keep it fairly simple. Somewhere to be that does not need to have crazy makeup. I'm going in with this one right here. And also, you know, while we're on the topic of Tarte, they do have a history of not being the most inclusive brand in terms of the equity part of EDI. I think on their last Bora Bora trip or whatever, I don't know, but it was like said that some girls of color were not receiving like the same quality of rooms that maybe like a white influencer or someone with lighter skin was receiving. And you know, people are saying like, oh, you know, the CEO of Tarte has been like this for years. <sighs> She's been really shady and weird and just not very, not a very nice person. You just look back to like their Shape Tape Foundation launch where they only had like two shades for um, people of color. And it's just, that's just crazy to like think back on. Like I still think about this sometimes where it's like, who approved that? You have to go through so many layers of like quality control and I don't know, just crazy. I'm gonna go into this deeper brown. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp this on the outer corner and then blend it out a little bit and then just kind of repeat that. And of course, like Maureen, the CEO, came out and was like, oh, every room was different, whatnot. But it's like, there's so many little things that Tarte has done where they kind of just build up over time and it's like, oh, you know, oh, the crappy foundation shade range. Uh, they're only gifting some people, I, some of their influencers iPads when we know that they're a multi-million dollar company and could definitely afford to send an iPad to everyone on the PR list. I mean, let's face it, those maracuja juicy lips are probably keeping them in business right now. Okay, I am just going to take a little pencil brush and I'm going to take that first shade, just lightly place it on my water, on my lower lash line. Don't put eyeshadow on your waterline. That just seems a little scary. There's only so many things and I think their marketing team probably needs an overhaul. <laughs> I just want to know like who thinks, you know what? I only want to send some people Hermes bracelets and cause a controversy on the internet. Who thinks about that stuff? Like there's so many other good things they could be doing with their money. And instead they're doing stuff like this. Now there was an influencer, this is even crazy to like form a sentence around, but like <laughs> someone said that like Tarte, you know, while they're sending some people these fancy Hermes bracelets, some people are getting these like cheaper like necklaces with their names on them. And then someone claimed that they received a box of Cheez-Its. <laughs> 
I don't know like the legitimacy behind that claim if that is real like shame on you tart like knock that off I'm gonna go into the shimmery champagne shade right here just with my finger but, like who thinks that's a good idea Honestly, I don't even have a degree in marketing and I would tell you right now that just seems like a recipe for disaster and internet controversy. And what's funny is that this week, you know, I'm filming a get ready with me on this on this topic. But right before this all went down, I ordered some Tarte holiday sets to talk about. So interesting. Got these. I got the blush set and I got the eyeshadow set. So that's pretty cool. I did highlight my brow bone with the cream shade just like that and then I want to go in with a little bit of liquid eyeliner this is the rare beauty liquid eyeliner I just it's just so crazy to me how they continue to do this it's like they don't want to hear any sort of constructive criticism or feedback and they're like well this is the way we've always done it therefore we're never gonna change which that is so stupid Please stop that. And then lastly, I'm going in with two mascaras. This is a sample. <laughs> this is the Polite Society Greatest Lashes of All Time. And I'm going to layer it with the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. But like, when you see this, as a regular consumer like myself, does it make you want to purchase from Tarte? Or if maybe you're an influencer of like any size, or if you're like, you like to make your own YouTube videos or your own Instagram reels, does this make you want to use Tarte more to get on their good graces and to Tarte's defense they have some good products I really like their blushes their highlighters their mascaras are really good love anything from the juicy lips line that's a good one if they put more time into R&D and into marketing I think the products can really speak for themselves and with every brand that is not the case <laughs> A lot of times brands will do stuff like this when the products like genuinely cannot speak for themselves and they need to wow whoever they need to wow in order to get some sales. But yeah, Tardis had definitely had those products where they freaking suck. Positive always a negative in terms of their products. I have one eyebrow hair that is going to be the death of me. I also did my hair today. I like kind of cur like I usually let my like curls kind of sit before I like brush them out just because my hair just does not hold curl. I feel like they look okay. I'm trying to go for like the effortless wave look. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I am so curious to hear your thoughts on this because this isn't just one isolated incident. This is like a consistent basis that we hear about like every so often on social media. So let me know your thoughts on that. Be sure to like and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I am here every single week and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!